Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hold on, let me restrict on my camera here. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday morning. So this morning, uh, as you guys saw, you know, a little bit, uh, I'm making a pumpkin spice latte, okay? So, so recipe is really simple. This is an extremely simple recipe. Uh, let me show you what we got here. So this is not a garlic. So we have ginger. Uh, so what I done was I did uh, one, uh, so, I did one part sugar, one part water, which means one, one cup of sugar and one cup of water. But what I did, I got, I'm using the half cup of uh, regular cane sugar and then the other half cup of uh, organic uh, coconut sugar, okay? Coconut sugar, I think I like the coconut sugar better than brown sugar. So it's all depend on you guys. And also I use the uh, fresh cinnamon as well, fresh cinnamon, vanilla, uh, nutmeg, let's not, uh, uh, let's not forget the nutmeg as well. And also I used a little bit of pumpkin spice too. So, so this is, I mean, if you want to do something easy, just use a pumpkin spice. But if you want to be, you know, like what I'm doing right now, I mean, we can use a fresh ginger, uh, cinnamon, and nutmeg, the fresh nutmeg as well. And what else? And then I add some, the comes to pumpkin puree, uh, that's optional. Actually, no, I mean, you know, I know people love pumpkin puree, but I think I prefer this one better. Uh, just use a, a pumpkin spice instead. So I think this is pretty much done, okay? And then we are going to make some latte this morning. I'm just gonna strain it like so. I mean, this, you know, I mean, this should last you a few days. All depends on how much you guys are using, but I really love that. I mean, I really love that syrup, okay? I, I know people love the pumpkin, but, so this is kind of like my modified version of pumpkin spice uh, syrup there, but let's see here. Uh, you know what? Uh, so this morning I'm gonna be using the coffee from one of our friend, Joey has, uh, he starts selling his own coffee now. I don't know what blend that is, but uh, we're gonna be doing 18 gram. And then let's make some uh, pumpkin spice latte with oat milk, okay, not the whole milk. So I'm trying to go, you know, somewhat dairy free. So, uh, so let's do the oat milk this morning instead of a whole milk there. Uh, by the way, if you are new to the, our daily live show, uh, welcome. Okay, welcome to our daily live streaming. It's fun, uh, unscripted, spontaneous, what else? Sometimes, you know, we just wing it, okay? Like this morning's recipe, if you guys are looking for the step-by-step -step actual recipe, how many grams of sugar or whatnot, uh, I don't have that recipe yet, okay? So I'm gonna be working on that hopefully next uh, week or so. But again, uh, but one thing for sure, so I, I use the one, uh, one part sugar and one part water, okay? So one to one ratio. But and uh, I did, so last time, so last year, I made it with uh, actual pumpkin, the puree. You know what, it wasn't that great, okay? I don't know. Uh, I know people love it, but yeah, I mean, I prefer pumpkin spice without the pumpkin. I just use uh, just the pumpkin spice. And uh, I love ginger, I love uh, cinnamon, and nutmeg, so I just put extra on that as well. So it all depends, okay? It all depends on what you guys like, but again, uh, if you guys are looking for the real pumpkin spice recipe, the real deal, uh, I'm going to put the link down below, okay? Uh, because uh, I do have that recipe from last year, so they're pretty good. Not the best, but it's pretty good. All right, so let's get going. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, I I'm, I'm have 18 grams, so I'm going to do, we are going to pull the great shot first, okay? Let's pull the great shot of espresso, and then... Uh, uh, let's get going. Hold on. Let's get going here.
you know what, since we are going to make some lattes, so let's use the uh, fun glass. Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to use my one of my favorite cup here for latte. Let's try with this yellow cup this morning from Rob. Uh, this is from let's see, uh, Rob Rami cups. Okay, Rob Rami cups there. I'm just going to heat up my cup. All right. So whenever I use my bottomless pour filter, uh, definitely I like to use my WDT tools. So anyway, so one of our friend uh, hooked me up with custom, has my name on it, the channel name. It's pretty cool. Okay. I think you can get it from the place called Urban Dosing, single dose. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So WDT here. Just make sure you got everything nice and fluffy. I'm just gonna use my uh, force temper for distribution and temping at the same time. Okay. I'm just gonna do the distribution like this. So. So this is the distribution here. And then uh, you just simply do the force tamping. And then I'm just gonna use my puck screen too. Okay, let's not, let's use a puck screen. The reason why, you know, I mean, you guys see me on this channel all the time. I love using the puck screen because you, you're gonna have a clean uh, shower screen not because we get a great shot, but definitely get a clean. I mean, let me know, I mean, how many of you are using the puck screen at your home? Can you guys tell the difference? Okay. Uh, I can't, I cannot tell the difference there, so. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, well, let's do some uh, pre-infusion. Here, hold on. I'm gonna do about Maybe like 10 second pre-infusion. And then follow by, I'm just gonna start the timer. Pre-infusion right now. Let's do about 10 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds up. Looks pretty good. You know, I have, to, I have to say the WDT helps. Yeah, without the WDT, you know, I mean, make a big difference. Okay, I got 18 gram in, I got 37 gram out at 45 seconds, but I did a pretty long pre-infusion, so you're looking about what, uh, 20, 25 seconds? No, yeah, 25, 26 seconds for the actual shot, actual pump is running. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, since we are going to make a pumpkin spice latte, I'm, I'm just gonna add about, not too much, about like, like 10 grams of syrup, like so. Just, just 10 gram. I mean, if you guys like, you know, a little sweeter, you know, you can do more, but yeah, I just prefer a little bit of sweetness. Okay. All right, let's do some steaming milk. Uh, again, I'm using the oat milk this morning. comes to milk frothing, the non-dairy, I think all milk is one of my favorites. Okay. So 
after the milk is done, I'm just gonna just make sure I have a wet pa uh, paper towel ready and just flush it. Just wipe and flush. Okay, so we are done. So let's do some little bit of latte art. All right, here we go. So it's gonna be more like flat white, okay? It's gonna be more flat than. Something like that. Looks pretty good. So let's try this. Actually, it's not bad. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, here we go. Happy Saturday and uh, cheers. If, uh, far is here, guys. It's about 70 degrees outside at 20% humidity. It's absolutely beautiful in Tucson. Cheers. Wow. It's pretty good. Mmm. Man. They're fantastic. Okay, I have to say. The syrup is... Okay. If you guys like uh, pumpkin, just make sure you put some pumpkin puree inside. Uh, if you guys are not a big fan of pumpkin, but if you kind of like, if you guys like some kind of spicy latte, uh, definitely use this recipe. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put the, the actual link down below. What, what I'm done with it because I did a step-by-step -step recipe last year so yeah I'm gonna put put the link but overall this my house smells wonderful it, it's kind of like get you know get me in the mood for the fall it's, it's, it's great okay it's great uh, make sure you press like on the videos uh, let's what else uh, what else is new in this channel uh, I know some of you already know we reached the goal of 1000 so so next thing we gotta do is we gotta find the machine the right machine for the channel so I think, uh, again, it's going to be dual boiler, rotary pump, PID, definitely flow control as well. So, so this machine checked all the box, but except the flow control. So, and then hopefully I can, uh, you know, borrow from Joe from Espresso Outlet. Uh, hopefully he can hook us up with another machine. Okay. Uh, by the way, I know you guys are talking about uh, the modifying the Bravo Brista Express. Uh, I'm planning on doing that, uh, hopefully by before, uh, not the thanks, it's not the Thanksgiving, uh, Halloween, okay, so you guys talking about the Frankenstein, uh, Bravo Brista Express, so that's what we're gonna do. And uh, I looked at the dimmer options, again, the dimmer options, I like the idea of it, I think that's a fantastic idea. If you get the dimmer options, you don't, you don't have to I mean, adjust your overpressure valve. Instead of overpressure valve, instead of adjusting it, just use the dimmer to control the pump pressure. So definitely uh, makes sense, okay? And they, you know, I mean, looking, uh, Lance did a great uh, video on it. Uh, and the, uh, uh, Lance, Lance Hendrick, is a, he did a fantastic video on, I think he was using the Bambino, I think. And the, uh, seems pretty easy there, but the problem is, because I want to look somewhat nice because I definitely want to attach to it. So I'm going to be, you know, uh, do some re little research on it because I, there's not a lot of space inside the Bravo Beast Express. So as, I think I'm going to figure something out. Okay, I'm going to figure something out, make some kind of ho drill the holes in it, yeah, make something decent. And then hopefully I'm going to do that like step by step. So if, you know, if you have a warranty on your machine, do not do it, okay? You are, you are going to avoid the warranty. But, but you know what, I mean, but if you had it for a couple of years, if you want to try something new, definitely it might be worth it, okay? And then Mike said, just go for ugly. Ah, uh, no, we, we're not going to go ugly, okay? I, I, I think I deserve little, okay? Little nicer. So I'm gonna make, you know, make a little nice. Okay, uh, let's see here. Have you tried pumpkin, uh, pumpkin chai latte? That's interesting. The chai tea is, I know some of you saw my other video, but it's hard to make, okay? So make sure you gotta get the right cardamom, okay? Make sure you go with the, not black one, get the green cardamom, okay? They're amazing, um, amazing tea. So yeah, uh, definitely, that sounds great. Okay, let's see here. 
Uh, I think we are, you know, it's going to be a pretty short session this morning. Uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, uh, do is I'm going to be jump, uh, jump on the Instagram, okay, and uh, show us your copy bar setup there. Again, oat milk, pumpkin spice latte, it's great. It's this definite keeper, okay, definite keeper. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning, and uh, I'm going to see you guys on Instagram.